Hello everybody, it's Rick. It is June 17th, 2022. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, my email is rick, R-I-C-K, 0327, at me.com. Uh, I'll have it in the description. If you need to um, get in touch with me to receive my paperwork after you send the gift, uh, my my paperwork is used to fight child support. <clears throat> um, many people have been successful using my paperwork. Um, quickly, I'll show you one of my people. His name was Sean, Sean W. Uh, he filed a federal lawsuit. This is just to show that he did. Okay. And he used my paperwork as the cornerstone of his magic. Okay. Oops. Excuse me. All right. This is the show. We got money back from the state of Vermont. They were taking money from him. Okay. And this is proof that. Um, Notice the obligor, no, they don't call him a man. Notice the obligor regarding wage withholding action has notified the proper authority to stop wage withholding in your child support case. So he got them to stop taking money from his wage withholding and he got his money returned. Okay? Very nice. Good work, Sean. Good work. So again, this is to prove to you people if anybody's a, afraid to pull the pull the you know to pull the uh, pull the trigger. <laughs> Excuse me, couldn't figure out the the cliche. Uh, you know, I've gotten people before you know telling me they're gonna send money for the gift, and then I don't hear back from them because I have a feeling you know. They, they get afraid. You have nothing to be afraid of here. I'm as honest as they come. I'm so honest. Uh, as I showed in a couple of videos ago, or last video, I forget, you know, there's a clown out there reselling my paperwork, okay? And he's just one of many, okay? Uh, a few weeks ago, like it was a week period I found out like, like I got I got contacted by like three different people who had my paperwork who gotten it from somebody else and they were looking for me to help them. So they got my paperwork from somebody else and uh, the other con man or woman didn't help and they're asking me for help. Okay, with my paperwork that I didn't get anything for. Okay, it was all my hard work. But anyway, forget it. Let's talk about, okay, uh, congratulations to Sean, okay. Uh, right here, using your paperwork, I was able to corner child support enforcement and his job. So he used my paperwork against, his, uh, against the child support agency, and he used it against his job to get them to stop taking his money. Okay, if you know how to use the paperwork, see... When you watch uh, channels, or you watch my channel, and I give you information, you got to understand, you have to defend yourself, okay? You got to defend yourself by knowing what your rights are, okay? And, and, you, and when you were born in this country, or you came to this country, you are a... You were born. You you were born with unalienable rights. Okay, and these rights are listed uh, are protected in the Bill of Rights. Okay, the Bill of Rights was ratified on December fifteenth, seventeen ninety one. Okay, and it's ratified law, meaning all thirteen at the time the thirteen states all agreed on the Bill of Rights. So that these are your rights, they and they protect your. Un, these are your unalienable rights. So you're allowed to go into court, and as long as you haven't signed anything, 
asking for um, uh, for a benefit or, or assigning away your rights, your rights are unalienable. Now, if you were conned or or intimidated to, to sign away your rights, you could still fight. You can just claim that you were intimidated or you didn't know your rights. And, and, and uh, when when they use fraud to take away your rights, it's it's not a valid contract. OK. All right. So uh, I, I just showed you briefly uh, somebody that got money back and got child support to stop, you know, taking his money. That's that's very nice. OK. Again, his name was Sean. Sean W. All right, so uh, I've been talking about, you know, uh, advising these people or telling these people that you're not a person. It's very important that you present in your paperwork that you're not a person, okay? Because all of these child support laws, they are not written for... They're written for persons. They're not written for a man or a woman. Okay? So, what happened to that thing? Oh, did I? Here it is. Um, real quickly, I'll show you. So, this is uh, the Uniform Family, uh, Family Support Act. All right? This is just the New York written version, but it's written the same way in every state. Okay? <clears throat> and... You'll notice that they'll use the phrase, the individual, the individual, the individual, not the man, not the woman, the individual. So you'll, you'll see phrases for individual, or you might see for a person, but you will not, oh, they'll use phrases like obligor or dead or they don't, they will not use the, the they won't use the term man or woman. And the reason is because they have no rights over you as a man and woman. You are, um, you have sovereign rights when you are born a man and woman. So what does that mean? Okay, sovereignty means supreme power or authority. That means no one has authority over you. So you got to realize that when you walk in, you know, we prefer that you don't go to child support hearings and fight them through the mail if you can okay but i understand why people go because you know they they they'll start you know taking your money right away if they have the information to do it so i understand why you go but if you do go it's important that all the only thing that you're going to do is assert that you're you know that you're a man or a woman and that your rights are unalienable do not answer any questions and do not understand when you answer questions or you understand you you're you're giving away your sovereignty okay because remember they cannot question you because you are a supreme power or authority so if anything all they are to you is equal to you they're not better than you they have no authority over you all right, so you have to you have to assert your sovereignty. Okay, but you uh, you got again they have all the tricks. They train for this stuff. They'll they'll immediately try and call you a sovereign citizen. Do not allow that to happen. Okay, do not let them call you a citizen. You're not a citizen. You're a man or a woman. That's it. Objection. I am a man. Objection. I am a woman. Objection. I am not a person. So, okay, so, again, why is it important to give notice that you are a man and woman and not a person? I just gave you a few examples because all state and federal laws, they apply to legal fictions, persons, natural persons, individuals. You will not find any state or federal laws that, that apply to a man or a woman. So, therefore, the laws do not apply to you because as soon as you are, you give a rebuttal that you are not a person, the law doesn't apply to you, okay? Proving you are a living man or woman is grounds for dismissal, okay? So what happened when you were born, 
your parents didn't notice, but they uh, applied for your um, birth certificate. And what happened is they change, they, they start right away. They, they change your status from a man or a woman, you know, child, man, child, woman, child, and they change you over to a person. A person, how do you know if you're a person? Well, the dead giveaway that you're a person is your name is written in all capital letters, okay? And if you notice, uh, all businesses are written, if you look at businesses written on paper, businesses or corporations, they're all written in capital letters. Well, so is a person. So that right there is evidence to show you that you're considered a corporation, okay? Remember I showed you the definition of what a person is, all right? And it's under um, 42 U.S.C. Um, 1301. Here we go, uh, 42 U.S.C. 1301 definition. The term person means, right, we saw it before, an individual, right, a trust, uh, or a state, a partnership, or a corporation, okay? Did you know, you know, um, when you were born, your mother or father weren't running around saying, oh, congratulations, I had a corporation today. No, <laughs> you, had a, you had a boy, you had a girl, all right? So that right there is, is proof I'm showing you that they change your status. The term person means an individual. The term corporation includes associations, joint stock companies, insurance companies. Okay, so you're a person, you're a corporation. That means that you're a legal fiction. You, you're not alive. You're only alive on paper if you're alive at all. All right, so it's important that you notice the court that you are not a per, that you are not a person. Okay. All right. Uh, just remember, uh, a man or woman is created by God, and and you know you know who hates um, sovereignty, who hates that 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 people are born equal, communists. <laughs> communists they don't believe in God. All right, so that that's the reason they don't like uh, people, man or woman, asserting their sovereignty because they're asserting that you were created by God. All right. Only God is above you. No one else is above you. So everybody's equal. They don't like that because then they can't they can't assert their frauds upon you. All right. So. So the only way you can get rid of your rights is by is by consent and by entering into a contract. All right. All right. So how to communicate child to the child put court in the quotations because it's really not a court all right it's it's not it's it's nothing but a show okay they create uh a court look like they they hold it actually they they have the hearings inside the court building inside the rooms but really they're renting it all right it, the the court building is being paid through the child support agency from they get the money from the federal government all right that's that's they don't want you to know that. So everybody in the room are called contractors, all right? And it's, um, let me see here. Yeah, to, to, to prove that they're contractors, all right? So under 42 U.S.C. 654, the state plan for child and spousal support, this is what the um, state child support agency, to administer child support, they do it under 654, under subsection 3, provide for the establishment or designation of a single separate organizational unit, all right, to administer the plan. The plan is for child support, all right? Now, under section, subsection seven, right here, provide for entering into cooperative arrangements with appropriate courts and law enforcement officials. So everybody you see in that room, they're all contractors. All right, they're all in, in, into a cooperative arrangements, so it's all a show. So the state, um, the state is allowing their employees to be paid 
to be used in child support. And it's just to scare you. All right, so you didn't know that, but now you know. It's nothing but a, it's nothing but they nothing but contractors. So I just showed it to you. Even the judge, or uh, you know, one of the you know the support magistrates or the friend of the court, you know, whatever name they they're using. Let's give you a second here. That's Reed's ginger ale. Good stuff. I got it from Trader Joe. It's not, it's not a green Heineken bottle. I'm drinking ginger ale. All right. So just in case you're wondering. All right. So I just showed you that. So. All right. So you tell the court that you are a man, a woman, and are sovereign. It is none. And, and here's the thing. When you're a sovereign, I just showed it to you that, that you are supreme. So that means everybody there, they're no, they're no better than you. They have no authority over you. So you don't have to answer their questions. Remember, what, what, are, one of your, what are one of your rights? You have the right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The combination from the ginger ale made me burp. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> you're telling them that it's none of their business if you're supporting your offspring. That, and that's the truth. Right? Why is it their their business if whether or not you're supporting your offspring? It's none of their it's none of their business. All right. So let me show you here. This is um, from yeah. It's um, a PDF uh, called Withdrawal of Consent. Uh, it was given to me by one of my subscribers. It's, it's and they paid for it, so I can't. But it's really good. It's it's a lot of good information, um, and it, it shows you that one of the subtlest ways of accepting the role of a person is to answer the questions of the bureaucrats. When a state bureaucrat knocks on your door and wants to know why your children aren't registered in school, or a police officer pulls you over and starts asking questions, you immediately fill the office of the of a person. And if you start answering the questions, you're playing the role. Okay? So you don't have to answer. You have that right to remain silent. All right? You are not a person subject to their laws. If they persist and haul you into their court unlawfully, your response to the judge is simple and direct. You, the sovereign, must tell him or her, I have no need to answer you in this matter. It is none of your business whether I understand my rights or whether I understand your fictitious charges. It's also none of their business. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm jumping the gun here. It's none of your business whether I want counsel or a lawyer. I was about to say, it's none of their business if you need a lawyer. See, I know this because I've been doing this for a while. I, I know all the all the, the the con games they play like uh, i've had i've told i've told many people don't answer questions they get scared they start answering questions or the uh, the judge a fake judge tells them uh you have to answer questions that's only in criminal matters that's what that's that's bullshit okay they whether or not you notice i'm telling you they're allowed to lie to you they lie to you all the time it, because you're supposed to know your rights so if you don't know your rights, they can you, they can lie to you. Now, if you know your rights, you know they're lying. You see how it works? So by knowing your rights, you know when they're lying to you. All right? That's why it's, 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 I'm, right now I'm giving you some really good information here. Okay? The reason it's none of your business is because I am not a person regulated by the state. The state's in all capital letters. Why is that? Because the state is a corporation. So whenever you see the uh, state of Wisconsin, state of New York, state of Maryland, state of Massachusetts, any state, when it says state of, that's a corporation. Okay? That's not the land part. That's not the, 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 the state with the territorial boundaries known as, you know, the borders. All a state of a corporation is, is a corporation. So it only exists on paper. 
All right. So that's that's why they, they, they right here they spelled state in capital letters. I do not hold any position or office where I'm subject to your legislature. See, all those state laws are written for persons. They're not written for a man or a woman. So understand that. I am a free sovereign man or woman, and I am a political power holder as lawfully decreed in the state constitution. It's usually in the first article, second article, in, in the state constitution. All right? Here's another one, another thing. You must never hire an attorney. Once you do, you are playing ball. You're giving the court jurisdiction, all right? Now, even if you did hire one, you can withdraw consent because you did not know, all right? You did, I, I only learned this stuff, you know, a few years ago, all right? I already had a career in law enforcement. I didn't know any of this stuff. And here's another thing. I know there's like this, um, a lot of videos out there by these, you know, people where um, people are asserting their rights on the highway and whatnot with the police. Trust me when I tell you, most police don't know that they're uh, enforcing these laws they, illegally. They, they believe it, okay, because that's what they were told. In the academy and told by their their supervisors because I was one of them I didn't know about any of this stuff all right I mean I knew about the Constitution but again I didn't understand you know the the you know these laws that are most of the laws are without a complainant there's there's no there's no injured party they're, they're not injured parties so you go to a red light who did you hurt who did you injure no one so that you know that's that's another way around it also. If you were ever arrested and the state is the prosecutor, state of New York is the prosecutor, we used to call it the people state of New York, PSNY. And the state cannot be an injured party and the state cannot testify. So that's one way around it, all right? And we'll leave it at that. All right, so... I'm just showing you why it's it's important to assert your sovereignty or assert that you're a man or woman, all right? And I just showed you here, um, these are case laws about sovereignty, all right? So this case laws that says that, you know, we're sovereign, they, they can't, you know, use their trickery, these judges, all right? Um, one second here. Here's a, a famous case. Um, this is, I haven't used this in a while. It's called Google Scholar. You know, they have Google, um, you know, photos and Google. Well, this is a good, um, good app because you could put in the case law and they give you the citations on how it's cited by other courts. So other courts will cite it and it'll be worded differently, but the, the court accepts it. So it, it could be written out you, that you understand it, all right? You, you know, the way it's broken down from another court, all right? So this is a famous case here from 1793. That's two years after the Bill of Rights was ratified, okay? And it's it's a case about sovereignty, all right? Um, I also used another, I used it in my paperwork, another case uh, about the uh, people being unconditionally sovereign in their state. And I used the, the, the phrase I used between uh, the territorial boundaries, because that's what I'm saying is, I'm sovereign when I'm standing on the land, not the, not, the, not the corporation, not the state corporation. The state corporation doesn't have territorial boundaries. It's just a corporation. It's a company. All right. And if you want, you can, you can read some of these case laws here, all right? You can freeze the paper or freeze, excuse me, um, just freeze this and look at it. All right. Um, you have the right to give notice that your rights defined by the Bill of Rights is being trespassed upon. Okay, so you can also file um, 
a notice to the court that you're being trespassed upon. When when they are ignoring that you're asserting your rights as a man or a woman, and they move forward, they are trespassing upon your rights. Okay, so I as I wrote here. It is a fact that the Bill of Rights were ratified by the 13 states on December 15, 1791. And these rights are unalienable. They cannot take them away from you. They can't trick you. They could trick you out of them, but if you if you realize you were tricked, you could still give notice to the court and you can have the, um, the order. If there was an order issued, you can have that vacated or you can fight to have it vacated. All right, because you... You just became aware that your rights were being violated. You did not notice at the time. All right? That's why, because they're called a void judgment. A judgment that's created on the fraud is never, it's, it's, it can be fought at any time. Okay? As long as you did not accept the benefit from your state, the child support agency, sign an agreement, you are protected by your rights. These uh, The rights in the Bill of Rights. Okay? And I showed you this before. And how do you know if you are a person? Your name is spelled in all capital letters. Do not spell your name in all capital letters. I try and tell people um, to write it in upper and lower class, lower case. Just write it the way it's always been written. Were you taught to spell your name in all capital letters when you were when you were a child and went to school? No. So that's that right there is a sign that that there's something going on when your name is spelled in all capital letters. All right. Um, what you can do is get a copy of um, a certificate of live birth. Okay. Right here. All right. Certif certificate of live birth. Google it in your, you know, where you live, your county, wherever you were born, and look it up. And, you know, get, make a phone call and find out how much it costs. It's not that much money. Okay, you can get, I have, I, I went and got like 10 copies of my certificate of live birth. Okay, and that way you have it. You can always use that and enter that as evidence that you're a living man or woman. Okay, that right there is the best besides you right here in the flesh. The certificate of live birth is proof that you are a, a breathing man or woman, that you are not a person, okay? All right, so um, I'm going to end it there. Okay, as I, again, I showed you guys earlier, you know, one of my, you know, one of my people, Sean, was successful using my paperwork, okay? My paperwork, you know, I provide a lot of paperwork. And I know some people like that they, they, they want me to hold their hand and everything. I can't you do you realize that no two cases are the same? Okay, all you have to do is pick out a couple of good dismissal affidavits, read them. If it applies to your case, file it. Okay? That's all you have to do. You don't have to file ten, you know, motions. You could file, you know, three to five. If it fits your case, and and move forward, all right. And when you see the paperwork, it'll it'll, it'll blow your mind. I get people I, the, the reactions I get is unbelievable. Okay, all right. So again, um, okay, right here. If you need to contact me. It's Rick zero three two seven at me dot com. Uh, paperwork to challenge child support in exchange. exchange for a gift okay you're gonna send me a gift and in exchange I send you the paperwork all right again people are very happy and some people are so happy they sell it but my paperwork is my intellectual property it means I own it I copyright it all right you need my permission okay so don't think you're an entrepreneur and because if I find out, you know, I can move forward in court with the paperwork. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.